She mad as hell. You lied to her. You freaking lied to her. Uh, uh, yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am here with something a little different today. Now, I just came from outside because it's beautiful outside. Like, it's like 70-something degrees. So I've been outside, like, all day. And I came back, and, yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired, so I, I, I don't feel like playing the game today. I really don't. So, what we're going to do, though, is read. Even though I read in the games, too, it doesn't matter. We're not playing anything. I don't have to use my fingers except to scroll. <sighs> I, I found this. So I saw some, another YouTuber do this. I don't know exactly what it's about. I just saw like a little, little clip. This is supposed to be scary. We'll see how, we'll see how bad it gets. But we're basically reading about a scary story. And stuff is supposed to happen while we're reading. I play Doki Doki Literature Club. You really think you're going to get me? Y'all, y'all really going to have to try. But like I said, I am tired. So that's why we're not playing the game today. I mean, I hope y'all enjoy it. Regardless, let's do this. Warning: This webtoon is a special. Special. I can't see. Look, I'm too tired. I can't even talk right. There's a special horror episode for this summer season. Since it contains shocking scenes, reader discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those suffer suffering from serious medical conditions. I don't know why I have to say this all the time, but I will. Every time they give us these warnings. It's always good. So, let's just, let's just find out what we're getting ourselves into. Bong Chiang Dong Ghost. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. Right, let's get let's get ready. Let's get ready to get scared, y'all. All right. All right Evie. Evie, you got me. Okay, you got me. I think we're ready. It was around. 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night study sessions at school. Wait, is this a girl? Should I speak in a girl voice because that's a girl? But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Y'all like that? I, I should be a voice actor. Like I'm really thinking about being a voice actor because it's dope, and I think I'm very animated, so I think it would be great for me. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Never a good idea to look down at the ground when it's dark. You need to be aware of all your surroundings. Rookie, rookie move. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I thought you were looking down, though. So how do you know there wasn't anyone around you? That's the first question I got already. How do you know? Unless you looked up and saw there wasn't anybody around you. Because, but you didn't say that, though. But she didn't say that, so it's kind of confusing me. I looked up to see who it was. Wait, who there was. I was already just thinking in my head of how the sentence would go, but who there was. This is translated from, like, Korean or something, so that's why the spelling is a little weird and saw a woman walking right in front of me. But she looked a little strange. Oh, what the freak? I don't know about you, but if I see any woman with their foot twisted 90 degrees, well, no, 45 degrees, you gotta go. You gotta go. Ain't no way that you are okay with seeing this. I could say that she looked crippled, she was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Okay, I'm talking crap about her, but maybe she's just a woman that had some type of surgery or got in a very bad accident. I don't know. See, I'm being rude already. Like, I, I need to calm the fuck down. I need to. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. I don't, I don't want to see her even better. She's creepy from the distance, so why would I want to see her close up? That shit don't make no sense of why you would want to see her. 
Oh, she's really, oh, look at her limbs. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. Now it's one thing to have your body twisted, then your hair is a mess. It's like those two things together should tell you that this is a bad idea. But I bet you heard dumbass is still going to keep walking. It seems so weird that I stopped walking. Okay, but maybe you should think about turning around. That's what I would do. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her. Nor did I have the guts to pass her by. I mean... I guess some people are just like that. Like, they get so scared that they can't move. I've never experienced that, so I, I can't really talk shit. I'm talking shit. <laughs> okay. That's the thing they were talking about when they said the stuff happens while reading. <sighs> oh. Oh. Y'all, I... Cut it. You didn't see that. You didn't see me. You didn't see shit. You know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Cause I'm just like scared shitless. Like I'm actually shitting in my freaking panties right now. But no, that I think that's really the thing. If sometimes sometimes people get scared that they can't even freaking move, cause they're just, just like frozen up. But I think that's actually a thing. I don't want to get that scared to find that out because, yeah, I, nope, I don't. Where's my baby? Uh, with a voice like that, well, at this point, it's, you can't run now because she's looking right at you. My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. Did what? Gulp? I mean, everybody would probably do that in that situation. It still gives me chills thinking that moment. She just said, ugh. She did one of those because, you know, or she did, you know, she did one of those. Either one, it works. Wait, what's she doing? She's pointing. Why? I answered pointing as far as I could. Ooh, that's smart as shit, actually. She's trying to get her to fuck away from her. I see what she's doing. Uh, uh, over there. Why do you got blood on your face, girl? Like, who? Uh, why do you have blood on your face? Why? Like, I didn't say that before, but it's just... Why? I, I don't get it. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then, she limped towards where I had pointed to. Then I couldn't see her anymore. Uh, I can see her. She's not. The, excuse me. She's not. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. She's not that far. She. I can still see her outline. She ain't that far. How can you not see her? Are you that blind? I'm blind too, and I can still see her ass. She's still standing there. She's still standing there. Like. Uh, okay. No, she's about to turn around. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. Okay, looks like you're going a little slow though. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, she is not here. Oh boy, I heard her screaming from far away. Oh boy, she mad as hell. You lied to her. You freaking lied to her. Uh. Now I saw that like she was she was whew, I saw that she was far away. I didn't expect her to do such shit that shit right there. I did not. Oh my gosh. Dude, that actually made my stomach hurt. Oh my god. Had, oh my gosh. Okay. 
y'all wrong for this, but it's all, it's all right. We we all right though. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. So you didn't die. Well, obviously if she's telling the story, she didn't die, but like she didn't even get kidnapped or anything. So she just jumped at her and she passed out. Well, that's better than how it could have happened. Way better. You could have died. Or got kidnapped or some shit. Or eaten. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bong Jiong Dong, Juan Aku I don't know how to say this shit, y'all. Forgive me. A 33 year old woman jumped off the part. Apartment? Apartment? Freaking weird, freaking weirdos? Say not. But no, seriously, they'd spelled wrong now. And died on the spot. Known as her as surname Chow, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that in, after that incident, Chow was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Yo, that turned real bad. That turned real sad, actually. I said bad, sad. It did turn bad, though. But, like, damn. She just wanted her daughter. Alright, I'm gonna do two more of these because, not gonna lie to you, even though I was scared shitless, that, that was actually, that was actually fun. Like, that was actually, like, pretty good. That was way good. That jump scare. Mm -hmm. That got me, like, whoo, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm going to do two more, because there's, like, a lot of stories on here. And y'all let me know whether y'all want me to do more, because I actually might do more, whether whether y'all say something or not, because I'm actually enjoying this. The following is a special chiller thriller, which may include shocking scenes, new discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those with weak hearts. It said it in the last one, but I... I just had to say it again. Oh, already. Tap, 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 tap. It's called Knock Knock, by the way. Not something you want to be familiar with if you're probably home alone, because I'm pretty sure this person is home alone. Tap, tap. Oh, wait. I'm dumb as hell. The tap, tap was from the freaking uh, keyboard. My dumb ass. Minji. Minji. Ah, Mom. Oh, we're playing as a girl again? Okay. What are you still doing up? I have to finish this report by tomorrow. You're such a hard worker. Have some of these while you do your while you do your report. Clink. <laughs> I'm making the sound effects. I don't care. I don't care if it's whack. Wow. Thanks, Mom. Mmm. Your cookies are the best. Is Dad still not home? Ah, uh, yeah. About that, I forgot to tell you. Your dad went on a business trip today. He'll be back in a couple of days. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was just the... Oh, this shit about to get juicy. That was just the interlude. Oh my gosh. This happened in the summer of 2013. Take care. Is that the dad right there? Might be. At around 1 a.m., I was heading to the nearby Suro station since I was having a hard time finding any customers around this residential area. Around this residential area. I told you I'm tired. Listen, I, I need some rest. <laughs> oh, he found somebody. Sir, would you mind opening the trunk for me? Ah, I'll put your, I'll put your bag in for you. Like, you ain't got to do that. Clunk. I put her suitcase in the trunk and returned to the driver's seat. Where should I take you? Uh, I'm going to 1816 Mong Jion Dong. I don't know these addresses. That's that's like in Korean or Japanese. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Mong Jion Dong. 180-1. Beep, beep. Yeah, he had to punch it. He took so long to punch that in. Did you just get back from a trip? I just got back from Japan. I was studying there. Ah, how long were you there for? If it was me, this type of conversation, 
I wouldn't feel comfortable because I don't like telling people where I was at. I, that's just me. That that's just me. Around five months, damn, I was studying art. I decided to go for a little stay since I'm on holiday. The girl seemed like the type who enjoyed chatting. You're chatting too, so it's not like you ain't encouraging it. Ah, so are you able to get a job there? The economy's terrible here. I like talking with customers, so I started making conversation with her. Oh, he was saying it like it was a, oh, it was a good thing. I thought he was saying it like it's a bad thing. It's hard to get a job anywhere in the arts. I just want to get home and see my dad. You only miss your dad? That must make your mom sad. <laughs> ah, all my stepmom cares about is money anyway. Gold digger. Matter of fact, stepmom, depending on how old she is, she should be called an old digger. Bruh. What? We're not, we're not going to say that anymore. I felt like I had touch on a sensitive issue, so I quickly changed topics. Good idea. Ah, there's a Oksu... I don't know how to say that. Station over there. Have you heard about the story about the ghost at Oksu Station? Of course I have. Everyone's been passing it around online. I thought you might not have heard of it why, since you were in Japan. They have, been in, they have internet in Japan too, you know. Besides, that whole story is made up. It wasn't even scary. She gonna be the one to deal with that freaking uh, freaking shit next. She she don't believe nothing. The author is always trying to come up with stuff to scare people. Isn't that what horror is all about, though? Well, in my neighborhood, there's this game that was really popular. Have you heard of the Walnut Ghost? A what ghost? Walnut Ghost. <laughs> Walnut ghost you freaking idiot it's this game where you summon a ghost and ask it stuff why the hell would you want to summon a ghost what the freak is wrong with these people like i i, I i'm telling you, I, people can like be looking at a ouija board right in front of them and know what it's about and still want to play with it I, that's why i like to be up sometimes alone because people just amaze me and not in a good way. I tried it with my friends when I was little, and it really worked. So it's like fortune telling? The game is simple. In a classroom, or in some kind of room, you go around knocking on the wall until you made a complete circle of the room. As you go knocking around the wall, you'll find a place in the wall that's empty, and that goes thud when you hit it. Aha! That's where there's a trapped spirit. Aha! Uh -huh. If you stand in front of that spot with your friend and ask a question as you hold the pencil up to the wall and then drop it, the pencil will fall and face either you or your friend. For example, if you ask it something like, Oh spirit, within the wall, who among us will get a boyfriend first? It will point to whoever will find a guy first. Wow. So who did it say will find a guy first? Me. And actually it did work out like that. But we broke up pretty soon after. <laughs> yeah. At first, we just asked silly questions like that. But then we suddenly started getting scared. So we asked, we started asking the questions about life and death. If you get scared, why the hell would you ask the questions about life and death? What the freak is wrong with you? Again, not something I would do. Like, which one of us will die first? Wait, is it? I don't know if that is supposed to move, but I don't know. Who will die first? Oh, it pointed at it pointed at her. Once again, it, it, it was me. That's where you should be concerned. Man, that actually is kind of scary. So does the wall not the wall not ghost only tell you who it is? It doesn't give you any details? For no detail answers. You write down some answers to questions if you want to ask on a piece of paper and then leave it on the floor. The question at the time was, ah, right, how will I die? Wow. We wrote things like disease, accident, natural death as questions. Since I'm in a car with you right now, I really hope the answer wasn't a car accident. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't. But what was it? Now he's, now he's literally concerned. You see the sweat beating down from his face? Then all, suddenly, it was all quiet in the car. After sitting in silence for about a minute, 
I broke the crushing silence. So, what did it say? Uh, uh, murder. So creepy. Uh, look, we're already here. You live in one of these buildings, right? You try to get her the fuck out this car quick. Miss? Huh? Where the fuck did she go? Huh? The girl who had been sitting in the back seat wasn't there. Don't tell me she was a ghost the whole time. You fucking serious? Surprisingly, her suitcase was still in the trunk, though. Oh no. Oh no. I filled with fear. Oh, filled with fear. I took her suitcase out of the trunk. Oh, she, her, her body's in there. I opened it as if urged on by some unseen force. Oh, oh, that's fucking cool as shit. I'm scrolling down and it's freaking scrolling down with me. Oh, shoot. This ain't good. This ain't good. That's her body. I knew it. It's her freaking body, bro. Uh -huh. Not the sounds, bro. You had to do that to me. When I saw the body of the girl who had been sitting in the back seat, I immediately called the police, and they soon arrived. I explained to them how I ended up here with a suitcase containing a dead body, because you do look kind of sus like that. Surprisingly, though, this was her house. The investigation began as the police attempted to keep her sobbing mother back, who had seen the corpse. Around five months earlier, her mother has reported her daughter missing. On a security camera near a shopping mall where she had gotten in a taxi, all that was shown was me lifting a suitcase off the sidewalk and putting it into the trunk. Oh my gosh. Oh, you look guilty as shit. I'm sorry, but this does not look good for you. Her voice was not recorded on the ta taxi's black box either. It was just a recording of me talking to myself. The security footage showed the man who had dropped the suitcase off there. But the resolution... What? You spelled that wrong. The resolution was too low to determine his identity. Oh, never mind. You're not guilty. Who could he be? The murderer that killed her? Or perhaps just someone else in the same position as me? But one thing is certain. Even after she was dead, she really wanted to return home. Around a month had gone by after that. We're not done. Oh my. I was eating some cookies which her mother had given to me to thank me for returning her daughter to her. These are good. Have they still not found the murderer yet? When suddenly, I remember the game which she told me about. And your dumb ass is about to go do it. The wall not ghost. Not, not. Why are you doing this? Like, why is he doing this? Oh. Wall not ghost? Is the man on security footage the one who killed that girl? Like you could just I I I, I don't know why you do this shit. Well wait, it didn't say an answer, just it Huh? Wait, is it pointing to someone else? Oh shoot. It's pointing to someone else. Why is it pointing to the cookie? Why is it pointing to the cookies, bruh? The end. Huh? <laughs> Again, bruh? First of all... <laughs> first of all, hold on. I don't want to do that again. You can't... What is that supposed to mean? Like, it pointed at the cookies, so that does that mean... The mom killed her? Like, I don't get it. Because why would it point to the cookies and the mom made the cook? I'm sure I have no idea what the fuck that means. Alright, I'm not going to read the freaking um, the disclaimer again because we did that twice now. But this one is called Home Alone. But I didn't even get to finishing what this was called and explaining it. 
anyway, before I was so rudely fucking interrupted, was this is called Home Alone, which is a situation you don't ever want to be in because anything can happen. But sometimes it's not that easy. Oh, I, th I think that's why I was making a noise because I went up too far. Why is this got to be the scariest one so far? That the other ones weren't making sounds before this. My uncle went on a business trip, so I ended up house-sitting for him for a week. I really wasn't filling up to it because people were saying that something had happened in the neighborhood a few days earlier. But it pays a lot better than working at a convenience store, convenience store so I said I would do it. That's the biggest mistake you ever made. It's summer vacation, and all I have to do is watch the house. It's basically a dream part-time job. This neighborhood is so quiet. Are they all on edge because of that incident? I don't blame them. They still haven't caught the bad guy. Well, I, li I like the visuals. Sitting there watering the plants. Meow. Woof, 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 woof. Calm down. I'm looking after you guys for a little, little while. Oh, because they, they don't fucking know you. My uncle said he lives with a roommate. Too bad. I thought I had all the, the place all to myself. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Wait. It must be around here somewhere. Wait, what is he trying to look for? He's trying to look for his roommate's freaking... Why is he trying to be... Why is he trying to be nosy? That's what's going to get you hurt. It must be around here somewhere. Yes. Never mind. I thought he was looking for a key or something. What he actually was doing was looking at that so he can uh, deposit into his bank bank. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. What's he doing? Okay, that's an actual clock. I don't know why I'm getting so scared already. This ain't the scary part. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This got to be the roommate. This got to be the roommate. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, now nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that. That must be my uncle's friend. Even still, I'd be up like, who is that? Alicia, you, you better announce yourself. Shoot. Does he know that you're take that you're watching over the house? He should announce himself, because I hate people that walk so loudly and don't say anything. You ain't gotta walk that damn loud. Did he just say, Psst. Oh, no, that's just the rain. The weather's a real mess. Oh my gosh. Yo, I should have stopped at the second one, y'all. I'm, I'm getting way too scared. They seem kind of droopy. Should I water them a bit more? Well, it seems like you are anyway. Time to play some games. Ding. Ugh! It takes forever to start up. Wait. Oh, that envelope was okay. I was about to say I didn't see that before. An envelope? Why didn't I see this before? Woof, 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 woof. Huh? What's wrong? I gave you food. Woof, 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 woof. Ugh, you're so loud. Oh. Oh, that's not good. What's rattling? Uh, something just hit you straight in the face, huh? That was a mirror. That was a mirror. This man got cut. That man got cut. It's broken. Woof, 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 woof. You... You know what I hate? Well, I hate, but I don't hate. Dogs, when you see them barking at something that's not there, it seems like I think they can see what we can't see. Which is actually kind of creepy. I, uh, I can't. What the heck is that? Hmm? Woof, 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 woof. Yeah, maybe you ought to be concerned now. Wait, is he grabbing the... Oh! Ooh. Close call. They about to kill that freaking dog. Ugh! Why the hell was there a knife on the top of the fridge? 
I should you know what? Cats and dogs do not like each other, so that 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 doesn't surprise me. What are these spots? Did my uncle leave me some spending money? Probably not. A letter. What what um what blues blue say? We just got a letter. Alright. Thank you so much for letting me stay. Wait, no, that's the roommate. Thank you so much for letting me stay here as your roommate. I feel bad for my mom living alone in the countryside. By the way, when did you find his thumb is over shit? Please take care of the... I can't read. I can't read that shit. And he's just staring at it. Like, 3 o'clock p.m. Have a nice day. What? Too loud. All right. Who's doing this? Who's doing this? You don't have to say have a nice day like freaking eight times. Like, I got the message. I got the first one. Jeez. Uh, is this a bug or something? I thought I was going to have a heart attack. How the frick did he get that cut? Ah! Damn it! I'm so scared, and now I can't even sleep in my room because of that letter. I'll probably have freaking nightmares. I'll just watch some TV. I didn't even turn on the air conditioning, but the room is freezing. Uh-oh. What's wrong with the TV? And now the lights just went off. You're done. You're done. Is this a blackout? At the clock again. Oh, hell no. I don't like darkness, bro. Who is that? Who is that? I don't see nobody. He's just waking up. We're doing this again. Okay. You gotta stop playing game. Put them up now. Put put them up. Put them up. Cause I can't take this no more. Cause you keep making these scary ass sounds. Get your ass out here and do something. At that point. Wait. Nobody came in or left for the rest of the night. So he's trying to open the make the roommate's door. It's locked again. This is some strange shit. Here goes the freaking thunder. It's gonna be doing that all night. The, they can't. The plants can't take it. What? What do you? What do you do in this situation? What are you gonna do? I thought you said nobody did it for the rest of the night, but it's still happening. Uh oh, it's opening his eyes. Let me see. <laughs> Was that a dream? Or did he just fall back? <sighs> Was that a dream? Now if you keep hearing this shit, ain't no fucking dream. What time is it? And you keep hearing creaks and shit and thuds. Y'all gotta stop playing. Y'all gotta stop playing. Every night, I always hear the sound of footsteps. And those nightmares are slowly draining me mentally. I can't charge my phone, so there's no way to contact anyone. Wait, oh, because it's a black because the power went out, that's right. I smell like a rotting rotting corpse because I haven't showered in days. I'm not gonna lie to you, I I, I feel you bro, because I probably would did the same thing if I've been hearing shit like you have. Just hang in there a bit longer. My uncle will be back tomorrow. He'll be back. Look at him all bottled up in that freaking blanket. I don't blame you, bro. Uh oh, is that the door? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Are you the owner of this place? I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. The power's been off for the last few days because of a storm. Still hearing that shit. Wait, was he just thinking? I don't know. Hey, is is that you? He's gonna, he's gonna look at something he don't want to see. Oh boy. What the heck is that? 
Ninja Moon, I'm back. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, so I guess that's his uncle. I guess. Da, 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 da. You really scared the crap out of me. Why is he smiling? That's not him. I heard someone. Oh, wait, no, that is him, right? I heard someone's footsteps every night. And weird stuff kept happening. But isn't this your friend's room? He asked you to find something. Oh, no. What did he ask you to find? His freaking body, bro. What the heck? Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So he presumably just committed suicide. Oh, my gosh, yo. I'm done, y'all. Like, I... Those really scared the shit out of me. And I'll be sure to check out these other ones at some point. Because I really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.